वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ रूडीमेंट्स ऑफ म्यूजिक एंड दिस विल बी द लास्ट एंड फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ दिस सेगमेंट सो टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग वॉट इज नोन एज अ रेस्ट अ रेस्ट इज अ साइन यूज टू डेजिग्नेट अ पीरियड ऑफ साइलेंस दिस पीरियड ऑफ साइलेंस विल बी ऑफ द सेम ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टाइम एज द नोट टू विच इट करस्पॉन्ड्स नाउ If we have a note that is playing for a certain number of beats it can also have its equivalence in silence now we'll start with a whole rest okay so this is what a whole rest looks like it has a it's a horizontal line with the rest hanging below the line the next rest we are going to learn is a half rest so a half rest lies on the line instead of below the line so there's a horizontal line and the half rest lies on the line the next rest we are going to learn is a quarter note rest so this is what a quarter note rest looks like it looks like a curly bracket and the last and final rest we are going to learn today is an eighth rest so it's a slanting line it's a diagonal line with an inverted comma like a horizontal comma attached to the top of the slanting line so this is an eight rest so you know what the rests look like now let's understand what they imply okay so in the previous video we learnt what a whole note is so a whole note is a note that lasts for four counts so its equivalent rest will be silence for four counts a half note lasts for two beats or two counts its equivalent rest will imply a silence for two counts a quarter note lasts for one count or one beat and its equivalent rest will imply a silence for one beat and finally an eighth note lasts for half a beat two for one count and its equivalent rest will imply a silence for half a count so it's pretty easy to understand now we will learn what a time signature means so the time signature is very important when you start learning how to read and write music or read a piece of music it's very important to first look at what the time signature is a time signature will imply how long a bar will last how many beats are there in a bar now the first time signature we're going to learn is 44 this is what a 44 looks like so we have uh, the lines of the stave or the lines of the staff the treble clef which we learned in the last video and it has like this fraction i'll tell you what this fraction means but you will often not often you you, you will always see a fraction in front of the treble clef which determines which determines how many beats will lie in one bar the next time signature we will learn is a 3/4 so a 3/4 looks like this it's a it's a fraction it's like the top number and the bottom number here this is a 3/4 the next time signature we are going to learn is 2/4 so these are the most commonly used time signatures in music okay so the above examples are the common types of time signatures to even be used in this book this is by the way uh, mel bay's guitar method book 1 it's a great book to learn from so i recommend every beginner guitar player to uh, learn from this book it's going to get your fingers nice and moving and it's in general it's a very it's a very good book for a finger and brain workout anyway so let's get into time signatures so time signature has a fraction what does the top number of the fraction imply and what does the bottom number of the fraction imply so the top number implies the number of beats in one measure the the bottom number that's the denominator will explain how many beats how many beats will be received 
rather how many notes will be received on one beat so this 4 here implies that there are 4 beats per measure and the bottom number 4 implies that a quarter note receives one beat okay so getting back to these time signatures this will imply that there are 4 beats in a measure and each beat receives a quarter note so you can simplify it to saying that one beat will imply one quarter note and you can also simplify it to saying uh, saying it like there are four beats in a measure or four quarter notes in a measure this will imply that there are three quarter notes in a measure and this time signature here will imply that there are two quarter notes in a measure or equivalent okay if you encounter something like this like right in front of the treble clef sign uh, you if you see something like this it's it looks like a C it signifies the so-called common time and is simply another way of designating 4-4 time so instead of writing 4-4 they just write C C implies common time because 4-4 is the most commonly used time signature in music so that's it for this short lesson uh, I hope to see you guys in the next lesson and I'm sorry I have been gigging since the past two weeks and I haven't been able to find any time to make the third part of the video you guys must have been wondering so apologies for that i'll see you guys soon